Yo, the hostage situation in Palestine is like fucking crazy right now. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I think it's terrible that Israel has so many. Wait, what do you mean Israel? Oh, you didn't know about that? No, I, I actually, I didn't. What do you mean? Well, I mean, Israel has taken thousands of Palestinian political prisoners over the years as a result of their ongoing occupation as a means of like trying to break resistance and just keep Palestinians from, you know, resisting in any real fashion. Wait, you said, you said thousands? Yeah, I mean, there's like over 5,000 Palestinian political prisoners in Israeli prisons and jails right now, right? I mean, and a lot of them are, you know, in there as a result of administrative detention techniques that look a lot like what the English imposed on the Irish during the Troubles, right? Okay, fuck, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, and a lot of them are kids, too. Like, Israel it regularly detains, like, anywhere from, like, 500 to 1,000 kids a year, or sometimes as young as 12 for crimes as small as, like, rock throwing. It's a really common thing they do. Wait, did you say fucking 12-year-olds? Yeah, and human rights organizations have done, like, uh, surveys of people who were in those Israeli prisons and found that, like, 8 and 10 children, or a little bit over that, were subject to, like, horrible, like, physical abuse. They also noted verbal abuse, like, not being able to speak to lawyers, like, having their families threatened, things like that, while they were in detention. Do those kids, like, get out? I mean, yeah, some of them, but a lot of them are held for, like, weeks, months, even years at a time, and they have to be tried in Israeli-styled courts, which are, like, military courts with a conviction rate of, like, 99.74% or some shit. It's absurd. Holy shit, that's, like, just evil. Yeah, and, like, a lot of adults, too, also face really horrific abuse and, like, the restriction of medical support and treatment. I mean, there are prisoners right now in Israeli jails that are, like, suffering from things like bone marrow cancer who can't even get treatment, and it's, you know, it's functionally as close as you can get to the Israeli government just straight up assassinating them. Wait, what? Yeah, a really good example of that it would be uh, Walid Daka, which is someone you can look up right now. There's been petitions circulating for months trying to get him out of Israeli prisons. Fucking... what? Yeah, and I mean, that doesn't even include if you consider the, like, over 2 million Palestinians in the Gaza Strip as being, you know, hostages themselves, right? Is there in an open-air prison or a concentration camp, really, that has been under total air, land, and sea blockade for a decade and a half now? Wait, I mean, would you really consider them prisoners? I mean, what else would you consider them? Many of them certainly can't fucking leave. And, you know, their water, their electricity, their, like, basic access to food and movement is all restricted by Israeli government policy, right? I mean, they're in a fucking prison. Really, a concentration camp is probably the more accurate word. Well, okay, that's fucking wow, dude. Yeah, it's really fucked up, and it's something that I feel doesn't really get talked about a whole lot, but yeah, it's, I guess something we're thinking on, yeah? Yeah, well, fuck Israel. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely fuck Israel.